Hey guys, welcome back. Sorry it's been a while. We've actually moved into the house. We moved in last December and since then we've been pretty busy. There's still lots to be done. Haven't had a chance up until now to really make a video. And as you can imagine, there's a huge backlog of footage that I'm sorting through. I started editing and while I was editing, um, I was up to this section here that I'm uh, about to show you. And I was going to cut it down to a minute or so, but then I remembered um, some of you have been asking for a bit of extra content. So I thought may as well put it up and those who are interested can watch. Hopefully in the next week or so I'll release another video and that video will be a more um, bringing you guys up to date with where the house is at the moment. So in this video I'm going to show you how this Runma was put together. Yeah, a lot of things went into it I thought it was pretty interesting so I hope you do too. Otherwise yeah um, the update of the general um, progress of the house will be in another video coming up shortly. A runmo is the panel that separates the doorway and the ceiling. They're typically decorative and are sometimes used to allow air to flow between rooms. I went to Tokyo to see part of this runmo being made for us by this Tatuguya-san. A Tatuguya-san is the finishing carpenter responsible for making wooden doors and windows, including shoji and of course runmo. This runma was designed by our architect. It is supposed to represent the J of my name, Jaya, and the C from my wife's name. Yeah, I don't see it either. A single circle design was relatively common in old houses, but this overlapping circle, Venn diagram style, is quite unique. So it wasn't easy to find someone to make this at an affordable price, and we almost gave up. Fortunately, I came across this Tatugia san on the internet. Um, they're a father and son team who specialize in round shoji windows and who would be able to make this custom design at a reasonable price. Here is making sure that all sides of the wood are perfectly flat and square to each other. By the way, I've put the link of the Tatugia Sun's website in the description. Please note that they do not speak English at all and won't ship outside of Japan.
We received the finished product a couple of weeks later and the carpenter who was working on our house mounted it in the doorway. We got a professional Shikui plasterer to do this section. By the way, for those who haven't seen my previous video, uh, Shikui is a Japanese lime plaster. Now, the reason for doing this was that it was a bit more technical, I thought, and I wasn't sure that I could do it well, and we wanted to make this bit look really nice. Anyway, it was good to have him do it, and it was also great to see him working, and I learned quite a few things just watching him. When dry, I also noticed that the texture of this powdered shikui that the plasterer was using was nicer than the DIY pre-made shikui that I've been using. It took about half a day to coat one side and each side required two coats with at least uh, 24 hours between each coat for it to dry. Although he trained under one of Japan's master shikui plasterers, there's not that much demand for shikui these days. So his main job is as a tiler, and he did the tiling and uh, stonework in our house and did a great job. After the shikui was finished, we now just needed to put in the shoji paper. Before we got around to doing that, we covered it with plastic to stop the draft getting in. So we made a template out of cardboard. We really should have thought to have done this before they put it up. At this stage, my wife had already put the shoji paper on all of the screens and windows, so she would got pretty good at it.
We were really happy with how it turned out, better than we had expected, in fact. So I hope you enjoyed that. And as I said, I'll release the next video, hopefully, pretty soon. See you next time. Bye.